questions about investing, retiring, and the stock market. Is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Welcome on into the Bison Football Show here in Bozeman, Montana, along with Coach Ince. I'm Sam Niederman. What a day for the Bison as they win it in overtime, 35 to 34 over Montana State. Coach, uh, I don't even know where to begin. This one's got to rank up there as one of the best here in your time. It, it definitely does. Uh, going on the road to a place that your opponent seldom ever loses here. Uh, huge, huge crowd, uh, 22,000 fans plus. Loud, energetic, um, and you know our kids just refuse to give up. You know, 28-21 going into the fourth quarter, uh, just the resolve of, of offense, defense, special teams. Everyone was like, yeah, I'm going to make a play. We're going to make a play. You know, we got a big fourth down stop. They gave us a little momentum there and and um, just really, really excited for our coaches and our, and our players. Coach, you could tell there was a spirit on our sideline throughout the entire game and into the OT and especially going yeah. in the fourth quarter. I mean, all year long, we see everybody put their fours up no matter what it is. And it just felt like something was in the air when we got that fourth down stop and we were able to hold serve. Yeah, you know, this group is, you know, we, we, we talked all week long, just we got to keep it close. We got to put the, the we got to put the stress on them. They're, they're the seated team. We're, they're at home. We're coming here. And, you know, we did that. We just, we just kept kept hanging around and being opportunistic and making plays and getting off the field and getting first downs and having some explosive plays at different times and you know I, I thought you saw as the game went on we, we did stress them a little bit and you know they you know it, it got uncomfortable and it was an unbelievable atmosphere and, and game yeah you, you live for these and it was an incredible finish I mean what a way to end the game blocked extra point by Hunter Ponch just to seal the deal Take me through it, Coach, the setup of how yep. that PAT block and Hunter getting right, it done. Right, something we worked on. Uh, first time we've ever ran it. Um, but, you know, just, you know, he's 6'7". He's an offensive lineman. He understands leverage. And, you know, it's kind of one, two, three, and, and and shoot the hands. And he did exactly what we asked him to do. And, you know, he was in the, and, and the other guys right there got great push. So he was able to really get some knockback on the line of scrimmage. And, you know, we had seen – through film study, I mean, he had 11 games to watch. Just, you know, not great trajectory, um, kind of driving the ball versus lifting it on PAT. So, you know, this was the time to do it. And um, what a what a huge play for for Hunter and. I, I, he'll probably never buy a beer in North Dakota again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think his forearm needs to be put in the Bison Museum. Oh, yeah. He got it on there and made the block. What, what was the emotion like on the sideline, the reaction from your players, your staff, as you guys got to relish the moment? Well, just all the hard work, it, it pays off. All the little details. I mean, just, you know, Coach, you know, Coach Phelps is responsible for our PAT block and just – you know, getting that set up and, and repping it and being prepared. And I mean, you know, no one sees that preparation, but it's all behind closed doors, in offices, you know, late at night, early in the morning. And and you just try to give your kids the best opportunity they can to, to be successful. And, and, and not that it was a perfect game by any means. Both teams had, had issues at different times, but, you know, we just found ways to make a few more plays than they did. Work in the dark, right? That's right. That's, That's right. Get it done. I saw Coach Phelps afterwards find Hunter on the sideline doing the the bow down, so it right. all makes sense. Right. Well, you know, Hunter has a he's got a well. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it hit him like on the elbow. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you want to talk about a was, battle scar? He was way over. I mean, he had plenty of length on yeah. that block. So awesome job. And but it all goes back to you know one of the most powerful words out there is believe. And our kids just they keep believing. They they, mm -hmm. they believe in one another. They believe in our process. And so it's it's a fun group to be around, and um, you know what? But yeah, they cause do they cause you headaches at times? Yeah, but you know I love to be around them, and they love to be around each other. Certainly, all time moment today for the Bison as they win in overtime. Let's take a look back at how it happened, starting with our first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Who are we to say they don't throw the ball? <laughs> Chambers back on the ground, can't get the edge. That is great. 
pursuit on the tackle. Well, after a penalty and a great return on the punt, Montana State starts at the plus 31. Tommy Malott keeps it on the read. Can't get to the edge, and he's dragged down. Nick Kubitz. Daller in motion ahead of a third and long. Chambers ripped down by Dylan Hendricks. That guy has made a couple big plays in the backfield early today. Miller zips it over the middle, completes it to Green. First first down today, sheds a tackle, has the sideline, and finally pushed down at the 44. Caden Steindorf in the punt unit on with Taco Dowler inside his own 10. It's a good punt, takes a bison hop down inside the 10, rolls across the 5, and North Dakota State is able to flip field position as that rolls out the 3. Give the ball off. This is Rajon Nelson, the wide receiver, who they love to get involved in the run game, and he's all the way down to the 15. Give him 24 yards on the first play. Second and goal. Miller, end zone, caught, touchdown, Bison, Zach Mathis. Fakes the run, lofts it downfield on the sideline, incomplete, no flag. Jaden Price had the coverage, and he's been phenomenal this year in coverage. Cleveland Thomas Jr. was looking for a pass on the interference penalty. Cole Payton in there again for North Dakota State. They have flipped out the quarterbacks each of the last three plays. Handed off, and here goes Rajah Nelson. Gives a stiff arm to the defender, Blake Stillwell, and a huge run for Rajah Nelson. The toss. Williams has a seam. Bursts right through it. Open space down the sideline. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Ball at their own 49. Need 51 yards. Final play of the first half. NDSU sends five. Malotz escapes out of the pocket to the right. Heaves it downfield with Nesky. Has the interception. First half stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. And coach, this game was tight. Going to the halftime locker room was 14-14. It was, and a really good game. They they had a little bit of momentum going into halftime, and um, we did a good job. We were kind of, you know, just didn't have great field position. We they, they were winning the field position battle early in the first quarter. They missed a couple field goals. We we forced them to kick some long ones, and they just hung in there, kept hanging in there. Um, I thought we did a really good job early in the game of of being disruptive, tackling. You know, Tommy. You know, he's a great player, uh, but I thought we got to him early. Um, you know, we 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 sped up our DNs at some different times. We tried to mess charge a little bit, and I thought we had a good game plan going. You know, and, and but. Everyone makes adjustments, and so, but it was, it was, we, we said in the locker room at halftime, we're right where we need to be. And I don't know if they were saying that over there. You know, we were right where we needed to be, and all I wanted our kids to worry about was us and how we went about our job. Certainly, we're in the right position, and we saw it in the second half in OT. Much more to do breaking down this game. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half here on the Bison Football Show. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. The entire off-seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. 
Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. I want to do everything to the best of my ability. Travel. My bad. On the court and on the road. If I make a mistake, I want to know. Lane violation. And when I'm at my best, I want to see the rewards. That's why I signed up for the Drive for Less program with NoDeck Insurance. I drive safely so I could save up to 30% on my insurance premium. Driving safe and saving money? That's a good call. Download the NoDeck Insurance app today. Watch Bison Media Zone on WDAY Extra. Join our seasoned host for in-depth discussions you won't find anywhere else. And expert analysis from those who know the game inside and out. Your one-stop source for predictions, game recaps, and real-time reactions. BMZ puts the spotlight on Bison sports like never before. Watch Bison Media Zone on WDAY Extra. Wednesday mornings at 1030, right after Hot Mike. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Welcome you back into Bobcat Stadium here in Bozeman along with Coach Chen, Sam Meterman, and Coach, second half, you guys get the ball to start. Yeah. Started with a bang. Tameric Williams, what a day for him. We did. We ran kind of a, you know, just what we call punch, and it's kind of a little bit of like a powerless or pullless power, and T-Mac, I mean, just popped a big one, and uh, he ran really hard all day long, and you, you saw he got in that zone, and it took more than one guy to bring him down, and he showed his balance and his, his ability, and that's what we needed. Uh, they did a tremendous job of taking away our quarterback run game, and so we needed to lean on our backs, and and, and both TK and T-Mac both had, had really good days for us. Huge. So we take the lead, they hit back, they bust the big one yep. with Milan up the yep. middle of tie, and then they get another score, starting to get a little momentum on the other sideline there. Yeah. What do you think was the difference for you guys well, keeping your heads? I, I think that fourth down stop mm -hmm. uh, was critical. We, we, we kind of got them off schedule a little bit. We got them behind the chains. Uh, you know, they threw a little bit of a flare screen out there. Uh, we got it knocked down a few yards short. They had to go to review. And, and, and that that play right there was as critical a play. If we don't get that fourth down stop, we're probably not winning. And But, you know, we, we got the stop. We, we, it was a yard short. They went and looked at it. Easy call, I thought, in my mind. But... That that created energy on the sideline. Offense went out. Um, you know, they, they, again, I can't say enough about our opponent. They did a great job taking away the quarterback run game. But you know, we continued to be able to get downhill. Cam made some throws. Uh, it, it was a it was a hard fought game, and, mm -hmm. and it, what an ending. Yeah, Luke Wirtz, incredible tackle on that fourth down, filling the gap. Yep. And TK with the big run. So many highlights. Instead of talking about them, why don't we show them to sure. you here on the Gate City Bank? Uh, second half highlights here. Grounds. A toss, and this is a great run on the opening play. To Merrick Williams has a 44-yard touchdown already, and on the first play of the third quarter, he goes 75 yards and a score. Humphrey. Oh, he was stopped at the 36, but that lunge forward might have gotten it. It did. First down. Luke Works was. Four minutes to go. Play action. Miller has a clean pocket, zips it to the sideline looking for Green. He pulls it in. And John Johnson brings him down, but not until a first down. It's a second and 10. TK Marshall's got it. His first carry in a long time. Burst right through. Second and ten. Chambers steps up. Can't get out of there and he's sacked. A loss of six. 
Jake Cava with the sack. Yeah, Jake Cava just pushes back. Got away with a hands to the face, but that was a bull rush if I ever saw one. Third and long. Chambers into trouble again. He's dropped. Dylan Hendricks, the other defensive end. Winner to the FCS quarterfinals. Loser's season comes to an end much earlier than they're used to. Miller rolls out right. This extra point to send us to double overtime. Good snap, good hold. Kick is blocked! Heartbreaking Boozman again for the fourth time in five years. NDSU eliminates Montana State. 14th straight quarterfinal appearance for the winningest team ever in FCS football, and what a fashion to do it. Final stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company and Coach passing game today wasn't maybe what we've seen yeah. on the last few, but you guys ran it 296 on the ground. We did. We did. And, and I think we outgained them on the ground, which you know, I don't know if anyone's done all year. And um, But there were some big third down catches, too, that I thought we made. And, and they, they did a great job defensively. But, you know, when we needed it, we, we could hand it to our backs today and, and got downhill and got away from a little bit of the quarterback run game, except in the red zone. We started, we forced them late in the game to get into some too high safety stuff. And, and all of a sudden, then the quarterback run game started to take it, got going again. Certainly. And you mentioned the running backs. Coach Tamaric Williams was our NODAC player of the game. He had 162 yards and a couple of touchdowns. After the game, Logan Campbell caught up with the guy who blocked the uh, extra point to win it for the Bison, Hunter Pontius, post-game after a monumental play. Hunter, an overtime thriller. First of all, how are we feeling? What are the emotions running through you right now? Um, don't really know. It's kind of kind of still sinking in a little bit. Pretty exciting. I, I don't know how to really, I don't know. It's awesome. So overtime, you guys get on the board first. Montana State bounces back, but you got your hands on it. You blocked the extra point. Walk us through what happened. Uh, we made a little personnel on Wednesday. It's called the Vikings. So uh, cracked it four or five times. I got my notes yes last night about it, and they're like, "We need you. You're going." And I was there, ready to go. This is the first time you've ever blocked an extra point. Yes, it is. Okay, so what was this moment like for you in one of the biggest games in the, the FCS playoffs? I was just excited to celebrate with my teammates, honestly. It was awesome. Congratulations, Hunter. Go Thank celebrate you. with your team. All righty, Coach. Hunter Pontius, yep. the big man, a guy, and we talk about work in the dark, behind the scenes, a reserve on our offensive line. He's played on specials, and yep. he gets his moment. He did, and that's what's crazy about this game is you never know when your moment might happen. But if you don't play hard, you don't listen to the details, you don't prepare right, you might miss it. And... Hunter Dent, I mean, we had practiced it, practiced it, practiced it. Probably had some guys roll their eyes like, really, we're going to put him in there. <laughs> Six, seven, you know, with his reach, you know, I mean, that another, I mean, huge thing hits him in the elbow. You know, he has a welt to, to show it. And what an unbelievable finish to a great college football game. That was awesome. 35-34, the final Bison win in overtime. More to come here on the Bison Football Show. When we come back, we're talking with NDSU kicker Eli Ozick. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. Exclusively at Halberstadt's West Acres Mall, discover the largest selection of Cole Haan footwear, all on sale for 20 to 50% off the retail price. Step into sophistication with Cole Haan footwear. Each shoe features impeccable craftsmanship and premium materials designed to last and impress. Enjoy the versatility and comfort Cole Haan has to offer. Elevate your wardrobe today. Visit Halberstadt's West Acres Mall for 20 to 50% off our massive Cole Haan footwear inventory. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. 
Shields. Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Beachy, medical director at Swanson Hyperbarics and former Bison quarterback. We all know that injuries are part of the game. We treat concussions, ankle sprains, and everything in between. Our goal is to safely return athletes back to the action and have them performing at their best. Whether it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the ozone hocket, or magnetic therapy, our technologies will reduce inflammation quickly and speed up the healing process. Call Swanson Hyperbarics today and find out how we can help you. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show. In this week's Olaf Anderson feature, Dom Izzo caught up with NDSU freshman kicker Eli Ozick. Tell me about the conversation. The season's going on, and with Coach Entz, okay, we're going we're gonna to need you. Like, do, can you take us through that conversation? I mean, we had a talk pretty early in the season, just, you know, about maybe some potential opportunities. And, you know, we have those four redshirt games right. throughout the regular season to work with, and fortunately enough, uh, I got the opportunity in practice a few times and was able to, you know, get the opportunity on Saturdays. When did you get us, did you know, okay, you're dressing and we're going to need you? It was really neat. Uh, kind of found out on that Thursday of that week and, you know, called my parents and told them, like, hey, uh, make sure you're watching the game Saturday. You're going to be kicking off. So, yeah, it was a really cool opportunity and cool to play my first college game. It weeks. seems surreal. You mean you just got here, I'm assuming June? I mean, and now here you are. Did, you're, did you have any notions of playing this season? I mean, obviously you want to just come in and compete, and that's. I didn't really think about it too much. So just do my best I can do and what's in my control, you know. But getting out like getting out there on Saturday and it was just yeah it's pretty unbelievable feeling first game how, tell me the nerves kicking I mean was it flowing three and describing I mean, it is it sweet yeah I mean just even coming out of that tunnel in front of however many people were at that game in the dome and you know thunderstruck is going and it's just it's pretty surreal what has this been like I mean you're just pitching yourself like okay here I'm freshman year and I'm I'm handling kickoff duties now I mean just doing, doing my best every week, every day in practice. And Coach Enns talks about winning the day, so it's really just about going 1-0 and for the day and 1-0 and for the week. So try not get too far ahead and just take it day by day. All right, Coach Eli Ozick, true freshman who's been handling your kickoffs. Yeah, big leg and pounds it through the end zone. Had a couple touchbacks today. Uh, I'm excited, and, and Bison Nation should be. He's going to be around for another four years. You know, we kind of strategically held him so he could use his four games, and none of these count now. And so he's going to be, you know, the guy. Um, and he's done outstanding job. And, you know, I think the consistency is one of those just – you know, young player, but I think as he ages and matures, you'll continue to see a better and better performance out of them. No doubt about it. Now time for our great clips. Great question. Coach, this one's from Terry in Watford City. Good question for this time of year. How do you manage the early signing day while your season's still going? We, a lot of irons in the fire right now. That's the best <laughs> way to do it. Um, no, we're, you know, we can't be on the road like every other team in the country, so you know we, we, we communicate that. We had 10 guys on campus last weekend at our playoff game. All of them committed. All of them had a great time, and it was, again, a chance for them to create a little bit of bonding. They, all, they, they know who we are, what we're about, but getting parents together, our new, new teammates together. We'll continue to hammer the phones. Um, I may get out a little bit, especially local, to some kids, but you know, for the most part, it's, it's you know, seeing us play and in, in, in moments like this, that continues to keep that excitement going. Yeah, it speaks for itself. An unbelievable day today for NDSU. They win it 35-34 in OT. Coming up next, we're going to wrap up the show with Coach here on the Bison Football Show. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. 
Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. Get more local news and weather from the most watched news team in the region. WDAY News, weeknights at 4 and 5. Committed to being first on the scene for major local stories and bringing you straightforward facts every day. Plan for the night ahead at 4 p.m. with the weather impacting your area. With more easy to understand weather coverage at 5. Everything you need to know. Turn to the news leader, WDAY News. Check it, check it, check it, check it out. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. All right, we're wrapping things up here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Anson. Coach, it's on to the next one, yep. quarterfinals, and it'll be a road trip against the South Dakota Coyotes. Yeah, you know, a, a team that I got great respect for, and uh, you know my relationship with the, the head football coach, Coach Nielsen being the, the conference coach of the year, got a ton of, you know, just history with him, and um, I, I don't know what the score, I, I anticipate, I know they won, I don't know anything about their game today with, with Sac State, but um, it, it, I know they're going to play hard, uh, that's a... Uh, that's traditionally been a, a characteristic of a, of a Bob Nielsen coach football team. But we got to get back to town, get to work. And, you know, I, I, at this time of the year, the best thing for us to do is focus on, on ourselves and making sure that we're prepared and put our best foot forward moving, moving into this week. Looking forward to keeping it going in Vermilion next week. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. For Coach Enns, I'm Sam Niederman. Big thank you to our entire crew. This has been the Bison Football Show. We'll catch you guys next week at South Dakota. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Enns has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Aw, oh, come on! Leftovers are for quitters. That's why the Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress has been extended. And for a limited time, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every thousand you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase.